Hi guys, how are you today? Alright, this month my design team for 2018 has come up with some fabulous ideas. I wanted to get come on camera and share with you the new team's links which are in the description below. And um, we are doing a bunch of different projects this year, including collaborations, one of whom is with none other than Miss Shannon Green. And uh, we each have uh, her custom keepers. This is actually the big one. I actually <laughs> I have three of them. Can you tell I like them? Um, I have this big one that I wanted to show you on camera because it's already decorated. Um, and I have two that I've purchased from her, and they're both about the same size. This is one of them. The other one's out in the front room. I'm not going to go get it right now, but um, this one's been painted. The other one's not, and collaged on. And um, it, you know what? It worked really well. I put some rub-ons on here, and then I, um, I did seal the whole thing, and uh, you know it's held up pretty well to being opened and closed and you know shoved into different places and it's wearing a little bit on the spine and cracking a little bit on the spine can you see that but it's not too bad and you know I like when my journals get distressed anyway um, she did send each one of the design team a small pocket sized one and uh, these this is how they come when you buy them from her they don't come with the elastic tied so that you can take the elastic out, decorate the cover if you so choose, and then put the elastic back. This one fits, as you can see. This is an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper, folded in half, then folded in half again. It fits right in here, and it comes with directions on how to um, tie it. Um, you also usually get some sort of packet of little, you know, goodies, her business card and things when you buy any of her custom keepers. So anyway, each one of the design team members got one of her little custom keepers and a bunch of various things from my Etsy shop along with a stamp set of their choosing and stencils to have some fun with. And um, we had, so we have some new stamp sets for 2018. This is number 12, the undersea theme. I love the turtle. He's my favorite. Um, number 13, number 14, and the big hit so far, number 15. So um, the design team members got to choose from one of the new sets or the old sets. I have 15 total stamp sets now. And um, they got to choose from new and old stencils. I did create one custom special uh, stencil for the team and um, that will be available to the public for purchase shortly, probably February 1st. It's not yet, but they're all going to share it with you, I think, um, or some of them at least are. And uh, anyway, I want you to check out the video description uh, for their links, check out their channels, check out their videos. They've come up with some great projects and, uh, you know, support them, like, share, and subscribe. If you want to buy any of my stamps or stencils, you can in my Etsy shop. The link is in the video description. There's a link down there that says link tree and then slash my name. If you click on that, you're going to find every place I am on the internet. You'll find the link to my uh, my PayPal tip jar if you want to tip me to support the free content here on YouTube and over on Facebook. You'll find my Amazon wish list. You'll find my website, my Etsy store, uh, my I think my link I think my LinkedIn <laughs> resume, which hasn't been updated in a while, but I think the link is there. You get the idea. My Facebook link is there for all my groups, my Instagram, my Twitter, all of it. So if you click on that, you're going to find all my links. Uh, I want to um, also share with you really quick that in my custom keeper, um, I have these random notebooks that I've had in my stash for I don't even know how long, some of which were gifted to me. And I decided to put them all in here. I can fit four of them in here. I probably could actually fit one more. And I've been going through with some of my stamps, old and new, and just randomly stamping the pages to put something on the page. And I don't know yet if I'm going to use this journal for writing or for um, our journaling. I don't know yet, but I like the idea of going through all of these notebooks and taking some time and just um, using my stamped images on here 
Um, so I've been using uh, archival ink, and black ar archival ink. So it works really well. And as you can see, you get some ghosting through to the back. Um, but it's not too bad. I can work with that. And for the most part, because this paper is thin, I would probably be doing single-sided um, pages anyway. So it's a fine. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget to check out those uh, links, like I said, in the description. And uh, to do the most important thing, go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Maybe shop in my Etsy shop or over in Shannon's. I'll link her store in the description below too. That's it for right now. See you later. Bye, guys. Thank you.